We will start our program from a while loop. Here I have placed a while loop here. Now I will attach an interrupt with my program. Here we can see we have interrupt. So I will place my interrupt command before while loop and I will double click it. Here we can see we have properties for interrupts that is enable interrupt and disable interrupt. Here if I will click this menu we can find different types of interrupts are there. That is timer 0 interrupt, interrupt, port interrupt, timer 1 interrupt, receive interrupt, timer 2 interrupt and custom interrupt. We could also develop custom interrupts for our program but in this program we are concerned with timer 0 interrupt. Here I will select my timer 0 interrupt. So first I will set the properties of my timer 0 interrupt properties. Here we can see interrupt name is timer 0 interrupt. Clock source select transition on timer 0 clock pin. No, we will use the internal clock to generate interrupt. So we will select internal clock and we will also select source edge select that is high to low or low to high transition of timer 0 clock interrupt. In this case it will produce no effect on our program if we will select low to high or high to low. Now we will use a prescaler rate that is 1 ratio 1. Here we can see if the clock speed is 19.660800 megahertz. So our intra frequency is 19.2k. So it is very accurate frequency. If we will select any other crystal like 20 megahertz. So our intra will not be this much accurate as we have here. So if I will go for prescaler divided by say 16. So our interrupt will be 1.2 kilohertz and we can also select some other prescaler rate that is 64. It means 300 hertz. In this case our interrupt protein will be executed 300 times in a second and the time of interrupt will be 3.33 millisecond. Now we will see that how to develop a time of 1 second and the time to display the data on our 4 digits. We will use 4 digits in our program. Okay. Here it is required to create a routine that will be called after every 3.33 millisecond. So we will create a new macro and we will assign a name that is T0 ISR timer 0 interrupt service routine. OK, OK and edit macro. So here we have timer 0 interrupt service routine and this routine will be executed after every 3.33 millisecond here. Our clock rate is 19660800 hertz. So the interrupt frequency will be 300 hertz because we have selected a prescaler rate that is 1 ratio 64. First we will check the time of our interrupt and it should be 3.33 millisecond ok ok. First I will save my program with a new name file save. Here I will assign a name that is multiplex 7 segment display underscore 1 save. Now I will check the time of my interrupt whether it is coming after 3.3 millisecond. So to check my interrupt time I will go to my interrupt service routine and I will use a decision box here and in this decision box I will just toggle a flag here variable that is tog flag initial value is 0 description flag variable type is boolean ok. So if my toggle flag is 0 I will set my toggle flag here equals to 1 and if my toggle flag is 1 I will reset my toggle flag control C and control V my toggle flag is 0 here. Now I will assign the value of my toggle flag to a port 
say for example port B naught. Here I will assign port B single bit naught my toggle flag. Now I'll check in Proteus whether the time of my interrupt is 3.3 millisecond or not. So I'll compile my program first. Build, compile to hex, okay. So my program is compiled successfully. Okay, close. Now we'll go to check a program in Proteus. So here I will save my project with a new name. File, save design. Multiplex seven segment display underscore one underscore ISIS. Save. And I'll go for my microcontroller that is pick 16F877A. Here we have selected our microcontroller and we'll just check the interrupt time. So there's no need to select any other component. Okay. First, I will connect master clear with 5 volt. And I'll connect my oscilloscope with port B naught, that is pin number 33. Now I will load my hex file. Here I will assign the frequency that is 19.66 megahertz and I'll go to my flow core setting. Here we can see the clock frequency is 19.660800 megahertz. So I'll copy my frequency from here, control C, okay. here, control V and I will place a decimal point here to make it 19.660800 megahertz and I will set a configuration word that is 3F3A and now I will load my hex file. Here we have our hex file that is multiplex 7 segment display 1 hex file, ok, open. Now we will run our program and we will check the timing of our interrupt. Our port B will toggle after every 3.33 millisecond. So let's start our program. Here we can see our port RB0 is changing its status. Now we will check the timings. So we will go for cursor and we will place our cursor here. here and I'll place my second cursor here. We can see the time. Here we can see the time is 3.30 millisecond. It means that our interrupt is coming after the interval of 3.33 millisecond. 